Hi, Scott with FDJtool.com, and I want to show you a little talked about alternative to the flex shaft machine, the micromotor. Micromotors have a lot of great features that you really don't get to hear about, and I wanted to share a few of those with you today. Micromotors are quite small. This control unit takes up a very small footprint on your workbench, whereas the flex shaft machine requires a motor hanger to hang it up wherever you're going to be working. Small size of the micromotor also makes it quite portable, so if you're traveling around or doing shows, it fits in a briefcase or a carry case quite easily. Micromotors are quite flexible to use too. Flex shaft machines do give you flexibility because the shaft allows you to move your handpiece in different places, but you have to be careful not to put too much of a bend on the flex shaft because it's not good for the unit. Micromotors, on the other hand, have a very flexible power cord that lets you move the handpiece in any which way you want because the motor is contained within the handpiece. Very small handpiece, in fact, as you can see. Micromotors also spin at a very high rate of speed. They can spin in the range of 35,000 to 45, even 50,000 RPMs. That's sometimes two to four times the speed that a flexible shaft machine runs. What does that do for you? It gives you a very smooth running handpiece and gives you a lot of control over the accessories that you're going to be using. And finally, at full power, a micromotor can sound like this. Whereas a flexible shaft machine can sound like this. I've got two of our micro motors here. We've got the Champion and we've got the Best Qual 2. They have very similar features and a few differences, so let's kind of go over those to give you an idea how they work. The Champion is a great motor. It's got a very small footprint, spins up, speeds up to 35,000 RPMs. It has an on-off switch for power. You've got a dial control that allows you to set the speed at which you want to operate. You can use forward or reverse direction in case you need to operate it right-handed or left-handed or you really just need your handpiece to spin in a different direction. It's going to come with a holder that allows you to put the handpiece on one side or simply by removing it, placing it on the other for convenience. You can set your speed again by dialing it up and then press your foot pedal gives you that speed. The Champion comes with an on-off foot pedal, so whatever speed you dial is the speed that your machine will operate. So if you need to operate at a much lower speed, simply dial it down, press your foot pedal, and there you go. Spins at a much lower speed. For versatility, you can just simply flip a switch right in the back, and allows you to now have complete control over the handpiece by simply just dialing. That's a nice piece of flexibility to have there. The Best Qual 2 is simply a step up. It's got a few more features that we kind of find nice. Again, on off switch, dial control for up to speeds up to 35,000 RPMs. You've got also your reverse switch for right or left handed, but it also has a variable speed foot control. What that means is by dialing up the speed, the maximum speed that you want to use, you can now use your foot pedal to select the speeds higher or lower depending on how hard you press on the foot pedal. And by pressing all the way, there's your maximum speed. And by letting off, you turn it off. Again, same with the Champion, by simply flicking a switch on the back, you now have control with the dial. Nice. Again, you also have your handpiece holder that can be flipped to the right or left hand side depending on what you need. Each unit does come with, with one of two hand pieces. We, you can have the standard quick change hand piece, which is very lightweight, only about nine ounces, very easy to hold. You simply twist to unlock, remove and replace your accessory, twist to lock again, and you're ready to go. The slim line, basically the same hand piece. Again, quick change, twist and remove lock back in place, but your nose piece is much thinner to give you much more control should you need it. And there you have it, our two micromotors. Micromotors can do nearly any job that a flexible shaft machine can do. And that combined with your quick change handpiece on your micromotor makes it an incredibly versatile tool.
Well, I hope this peek at micromotors has been very helpful. My name's Scott with FDJTool.com. But when using your flexible shaft machine, it sounds like this. Thank <laughs> you.